Welcome back, YTPC. This is Mark back with you, Smokers Haven. Uh, I think I gained a couple subscribers this week since I started putting out content again, which is a great thing. Just got home from work, promised a review. So that's what we're going to do today, and we are reviewing Rat Trays Bagpiper's Dream. Is that not the coolest packaging? This is a uh, three and a half ounce tin. I believe I got this for 30 bucks at Arlington Pipes and Cigars. Uh, and it was worth it. Uh, you get a lot of tobacco and it's, it's really good stuff. I uh, want to thank my buddy Willie Rope for uh, giving me a shout out. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, check him out. Uncle Willie. In his mobile lounge he uh he has a lot more knowledge when it comes to pipes and tobacco a lot definitely more knowledge with cigars than i do i don't smoke many cigars he does but uh yeah he's uh he puts out great content funny guy uh, so thought i'd give him a shout out back um, not sure if he's ever smoked this i will be smoking it in my eleganza savinelli eleganza Rusticated 320. Uh, he has a, a Savinelli Eleganza. It's one of his favorite pipes. This is one of my favorite pipes as well. So we'll light this up. Hmm. So I believe this is mainly it's a ribbon cut, mostly Virginia's and Black Cavendish with a cognac topping on it. And when you open up the tin, it does hit you pretty hard. I, it, it might not be for everybody. I think it smells good, but the room note smells amazing. Um, it's, it's good stuff. I will probably get more. Um, Hmm. Got my coffee. Um, yeah, it burns rather well. Doesn't really go out on you. It is somewhat when you get it. It is somewhat. It was somewhat moist. I wouldn't put it in the wet category. If you jar it up right away, it will stay plenty moist for you. You might have to dry it out a little bit. I generally don't dry out anything. I don't mind having to relight. Eventually, I get a good ember there. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. Thursday, what is it, the 6th, January 6th? As I stated, I gained a couple new subscribers. That was good. Uh, I've come to the realization I'm not going to, you know, whatever my subscriber count is, it is. Uh, YouTube pretty much throttles this community anyway, so... I will continue to, as I find new channels, I will continue to do shout outs and inform people of good content, new good content. Cooled back down today, thought I'd sit right by the heater. Uh, Doesn't make a difference. Hope everyone had a wonderful Thursday. It was uh, your typical, typical day at work for me. Uh, wasn't terrible, wasn't fantastic, I guess. <laughs> So, 
since my anniversary was recent and we recently bought this house, I received her home for a housewarming gift from our realtor. Her husband found me some tobaccos, some aromatics from my local tinderbox here, and the wife found me a couple of different aromatics from tinderbox too. If you're not familiar with tinderbox, they have good aromatics. Um, but they're primarily from my understanding match blends so uh, they have a match for lane 1Q it's a very good match. It's good. Um, I believe North Seas is a match for Peter Stoker B920 Nougat. It's good. I'll be doing some reviews on them. But anyways, they are match blends. So you can take that whatever it works. But I have a lot of that stuff that I need to smoke up. Um, I don't know how many of my subscribers, the few that I have, live near a tinderbox. I know they have, uh, they used to be all over the place. I don't think they are as much anymore. Might just be more Midwest, I don't know. I think there's some out West too, so, if I remember right. But, uh, they have, I believe a blend called Black Russian, which is predominantly Black Cavendish, what it is really good. I haven't gotten any in a while. I probably should get some more of that. Well, their Wilshire blend is their match for Lane 1Q, and that's their most popular seller, obviously, from what I was told, which I can believe. But I'm just happy to be at home. And smoking my pipe and drinking my coffee. And this was good money spent. Uh, so, look at what. Got a tap something here. Get rid of something. <laughs> Again, I hope everyone is doing well. well. I'm continuing to continuing my search, looking for different employment. Um, I think my my uh, I've learned everything that I need to learn where I'm at. I don't think it's a job that, I don't know. I'm looking for something I can maybe get a little more advancement. This the one I'm on is um, pretty much just, I just get the feeling every day like I'm just wasting my time because my job is root cause analysis and I find problems and they never seem to get fixed. So. What am I doing there? What am I doing? You know, um, I'm not going to go on a huge long rant about the job, but it's good to rant sometimes to others, you know, about things. So, I did get some comments from the last video about uh, Peterson pipes, you know. Um, yeah, really, I'm not real well educated with Peterson's. I don't own one. I know many of you out there do. So that's why I ask for input. Um, I definitely will be getting a spigot, uh, Peterson's spigot. I know there's many different ones. Um, I don't have a spigot of any 
any brand right now. That's probably what I will be investing in here pretty quick. Whether I buy it online or I go to Arlington and get it. Like I said, I need at least a couple Petersons and eventually I will spend the money on a Dunhill. I don't know how much I will smoke the Dunhill, but we'll see. I can't imagine them being bad smokers. Uh, but tell you what, we are getting lucky. It's January and the weather has not been complete shit. It's been pretty mild. Um, right before Christmas, it got brutally cold for a week, and then it warmed up, and it stayed pretty mild here. Luckily. How long that lasts? I, I probably just jinxed it, but... I know that wasn't much of a review, but if you do, if you can get some, I would suggest getting some Ratch Rays, uh, Bagpiper's Dream. You won't be disappointed. It's it's a very good aromatic. If you're not really into aromatics, then don't bother. I mean, there's a lot of hair for me. I don't, don't need to go throw away money, something that, you know, you don't really enjoy, but... I'm still in that stage where I enjoy aromatics and uh, I'm going to continue to smoke them. Mm. Very good. The room note on this stuff is uh, it's, it's not like what usually when you buy an aromatic, you get the tin note on it. You can kind of expect, you know what the room note's going to be. It's not like that with this. This is a uh, it gives you a different, uh, it's sweet. It is sweet. And it's a sweet smoke, but you really get that boozy um, smell when you open up the tin, and it's not what you really get when you smoke it. Um, but it's, it's enjoyable for sure. I'm not real good with uh, tagging blends for, you know, seasons. Um, but if I had to, I would say this is a good, uh, I'd say a summer blend probably. Um, it has somewhat of a floral citrusy um, essence to it, I would say. It's, it's good. I was pleasantly surprised because I did pay, I dropped 30 bucks for that. And I'm like, I really hope I like this and I don't have it, just leave it jarred up forever because I can't stand it. It is actually uh, really good. Um, I smoked it when I first got it. I smoked it uh, quite heavily, but I think I got probably half of this tin left yet, so that's good. But as I stated before, I got a lot of uh, a lot of tobacco stored up just because of my anniversary, and I got some, you know, Christmas and things like that. Stuff that I didn't even buy for myself, but uh, I've enjoyed. Um, well, uh, yeah, if you can get some of this, I definitely, uh, yeah, recommend it all you aromatic smokers. So again, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad everyone found it well and uh, hope everyone continues to come back. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I will continue to put out content. And uh, until next time, keep them lit.